Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. This video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video, and this time with the release of Bao Baboon literally coming out in the special editions on March 17th, I am going to be playing with some Metal Foes Zodiac using the Bao Baboon uh, support, essentially. But uh, he won Rock, Paper, Scissors and told me to go first, which I find very interesting. Now this is a uh, this is a new addition to my Discord, uh, to my Discord buddies, Earthworm, and uh, I hope that he ends up being pretty, pretty... Uh, like, entertaining as far as the decks that he's willing to play. I have no idea what deck he's playing as well. Um, I didn't ask any questions since this is the first video that I'm playing, but I am also changing the format of how I do these videos, uh, per se, in that, um, in the essence of I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be doing two of three, uh, best two of three format instead of just always doing three games. This is for video length reasons as well as the videos got a bit clunky when I was, uh, when I was doing things in the uh, in the I would be getting three owed or my opponents are getting three owed fashion, um, so it was just it was something I didn't really enjoy. Uh, but I can put this back because I've got painful decision um, to make that live. So I will go ahead and painful decision here uh, and get that silvered back, just because silvered is you know a very good option to have. Uh, I I actually just really gravitate towards leaving the uh, gold drivers in deck, but. This is uh, Metal Foes Zoo Plants, essentially, because there's the Bow Baboons and then there's Lone Fire Blossoms in here to get to the Bow Baboons. Uh, it essentially operates on the same essence as the Metal Foes Yang Zing deck did, um, in the essence of, uh, of just being able to uh, pop cards and uh, yield advantage off of it because of how Bow Baboon uh, operates. Now, this deck's also playing the uh, Fusion Substitute thing to do the uh, double Emerald play, because that play is fantastic. Uh, it allows you to draw three cards without having to use your uh, normal summon, which is great, <laughs> in fact, I think you'll find. Um, but I can actually just go ahead and start putting my scales down um, and doing things that in that way as well. Um, I could pop uh, this, I could put a scale in. Um, there's, a, there's a few different things I have access into doing, uh, but right now I'm just going to focus on my, uh, my Emerald my, uh, emerald play, because at this point, that's really all I want to... Uh, to focus on. Now you do have to play double Broad Bull in the extra deck, and you have to play double Emerald, so it makes the extra deck a lot tighter than it was before, uh, but it's fine because your main deck is capable of, uh, of doing so many things as far as cycling cards with the Bow Baboons. You can draw Metal Foes spells and traps and just put those back on bottom of your deck and rotate cards out of your hand uh, for different cards, and that's just fantastic. Um, overall, it's just a really cool concept that I enjoy very, very much. Uh, but so I still have no clue what he's playing, so he could still just absolutely just demolish uh, anything that I have set going for me. So I'm just going to put back these, uh, the Tiger Mortar and the two rats, draw a card, and so now I get to use Fusion Substitute on the into Norden with Emerald and the Broad Bull. Uh, so Norden here, and then Norden brings back the last rat that's in Grave. And so this allows me to summon two more rats out of my deck after I go into Broad Bull. Uh, so, if we had one extra name of uh, a Zooxies, we could also get another Broad Bull search here, but unfortunately you can't get another Broad Bull search at this point because you have to leave that rat underneath, uh, and then you're going to use the Dryden that you put on top of this uh, to summon the other rat out of your deck. And so it just it yields a very, very good amount of, uh, of draw power for what it gives you, because you get to resolve two Emeralds, you get to resolve Fusion Substitute, and then you also can potentially resolve like Metal Foes Fusion, so you can draw upwards of four cards. Takatom board kind of sucks, uh, but that's not what we're worried about here. Now I don't want to actually make the Emerald here yet, um, because of the fact that I want to clear more of the spells and traps out of my deck at this point now. Now that I've seen what I'm drawing, I want to clear more of the spells and traps and monsters out of my deck. Uh, so we'll just be doing that. So I'll activate my Archfiend Eccentric here. Use it to pop my Metal Foes combination, and then use Combination's effect to search for Bismagear. Um, and it will be the second to last one that I activate. And then I can activate this guy. I can activate this, pop this, activate Bismagear, pop the uh, high scale, and then put my silver there. Yeah. Okay, I just need to make sure I'm doing this in the right order. <laughs> because if you don't do it in the right order, you're going to get absolutely demolished um, in terms of not being able to do things. Uh, but then we'll activate the Bismagear. Bismagear lets me pop this, and I'll set the uh, full Metal Foes Fusion, and now I can get the last counter out of my deck off of Silvered, uh, which I can actually pop my MX Saber Invoker for. I'm not too worried about this. Um, and then I can reuse the scale off Mithrilium, so yeah. 
Uh, we'll activate this, we'll pop MX Saber Invoker because I'm not too worried about it. Uh, for the time being, I'd rather have my scales uh, and zones opened up. And so now that all of those spells and traps are out of the deck, now I'm going to go into my second Emerald, which will allow me to draw yet another card, and it'll just be glorious. So Emerald back is mandatory. This back, and uh, I have a rat under this, so I'll put a rat back into the deck. I've got a rat under here and a rat under here, so I'll put one rat back in the deck. Uh, drawing a goal driver, that's pretty damn good. And so now what I have access to is I can special summon from my extra deck. I can special summon this, this, and the Arch Phoenix Centric. So that means that I'll have a uh, full Metal Foes Alkahist uh, play live to me, as well as I'll be able to get a draw literally right here for uh, for my stuff, as well as resetting uh, the Mithrilium in my deck. Or not the Mithrilium, the, uh, the Combination. Um, so I can do that. So I'll put back Combination and the Silvered. And I'll use that to bounce the Silvered on my board um, so that I can then activate it and pop my Bisma Gear uh, and then get more cards out of my deck before I shuffle back the uh, Metal Foes Fusion because I don't want to draw that combination. Not at all. So this turn structure is just incredibly insane and that's just the way that it works with uh, with like decks, with this deck. Like the Metal Foes deck just gets super strong with Balbaboon. I think it's probably the deck that abuses it the best straight out of the gate. Um, just because of how it functions with it. Like, it functions so well with uh, with all the stuff that you have access to. And then you just get to follow up with a Pendulum Summon. Uh, so that's also really good. So now I've just got all these set, double counter, combination, and all that, which means I can do a Alkahist play um, and then have a combination bring back Mithrilium. Like, this this is all, <laughs> this is all absolutely ridiculous uh, as far as what I'm capable of doing, as far as my play. But so I'll add another gold driver. That way I've got the high and the low scale in my hand. Um, and then the uh, the Mithrilium is going to be able to summon... I'll be able to summon back the Mithrilium, and then I'll be able to also summon the Bisma Gear back out of my extra deck off of the Mithrilium's effect. So, like, come on now. <laughs> this is this play line is ridiculous. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Let me go mute my phone real quick. Oh, he put a Kaiju over my... Uh, over my... Uh, over my Thingo, over my Dryden. That's irritating, to say the very least. Um, and so, oh, he's playing a Yosinju deck. He's playing the Yosinju deck that he sent me on Facebook. Okay, I feel you. So I'm not worried about comma two. Uh, as soon as something, as soon as like comma one comes down, there it is. Uh, in response to the summon, um, I'm going to activate full Metal Foes Fusion. And then I'm going to also activate my Metal Foes Counter. Um, because then I'll be able... Or not Counter, a uh, Combination. Because that will allow me to bring back my Mithrilium. Um, so I'll be able to fuse into Alkahist here. Okay, so he's Cosmic Cycloing in my Combination. Doesn't actually matter um, in any real sort of essence. Because I still maintain the same amount of advantage. The Combination is just like a plus. Um... So, in response to that uh, summon, we'll use Mithrilium's effect, and then we'll use Alkahist's effect here to suck this up. And then I'll be able to special summon the Bisma Gear from my extra deck. Uh, that way it'll get a search if it dies, it's just the, it's just the better one to do here. Um, especially since he can already attack directly with this, so there's no real essence of like danger that I'm feeling. Um, as far as, uh, as far as, like, getting killed. And so I've got his comma one right here, so <laughs> I'm not too worried about that either. Uh, but so this is a 2800, it'll attack directly for half of that, so it'll attack directly for 14. Uh, and this can attack over my Bisma Gear if he's so inclined, but that will give me a search. So, uh, oh, he's attacking over this. Okay. Um, so now I can activate double counter. Um, and that will allow me to start my next turn with some cheeky ass plays. Uh, so I'll summon this in attack mode and I'll summon a steal in in defense uh, just to clear out my deck um, of cards. I still have 23 cards in deck. This is a 48 card deck list. <laughs> like you, you have to play so many different cards to make this work. Uh, so a bullhorn. Okay, so he's going to do a bullhorn to search for, uh, for more stuff. Uh, probably in probably going to be going, yeah, searching his uh, Yosinju, searching like comma one, probably going into Dryden and then another Bullhorn um, to make uh, a comma three search. 
Uh, oh, oh, the Tigress. Okay, so, hmm. So yeah, now into Bullhorn. Okay, so Bullhorn to get comma three, probably, uh, since he's got comma one already. Comma one, comma three is the combo. Uh, and then he can put a Dryness on top of this. So that's, that's pretty good. The problem is, is that I'm just really far ahead at this point. So I don't know if that's going to be really beneficial to him. Um, but so he gets to pop my emerald, so now next turn I can just normal summon this gold driver and make an emerald if I am so inclined. I can get this dryden off the board rather effectively, uh, simply by just metal foes fusing. It's not really an issue. Um, but I get to add back my vol flames. I get to do a bunch of nonsense. Uh, the scales, I don't have enough, I don't really have a lot of things to work with as far as, uh, scales. Uh, but I do have a good amount of other things that I can do, but so let's see. Uh, I can make Mithrilium, and it's going to bait this thing's negation, uh, or not negation, it's going to bait its pop, and then I'm going to be able to make another myth, I'm going to be able to make Emerald, and then be able to make another Mithrilium. Uh, so yeah, that's how this will work. So I'm going to use the Steelin and the Bismagear, uh, because this seems fine. So he basically has to pop this at this point. Um, otherwise, it's just going to spin the Dryden. Okay, so you'll you'll do this now. You're not going to do it. I'm going to put back this, and I'm going to put back a Alkahis. No, I'm going to put back the Full Metal Fusion. What am I doing? I definitely want to maintain cards in my deck as far as the spells and traps. And the reason I'm putting back the Fusion here is because I can just pop another card, set the Fusion, Pendulum, Fuse again, and then generate a draw. So it allows me to fuse, and it allows me to uh, recycle the Fusion spell and fuse three times this turn. Um, so that seems fine. Popping the Kaiju. Uh, that seems fine. Sure. Um, so that bounces this, and so now what I'm capable of doing is I'm capable of uh, putting this in my scale, and then activating it to pop a card. I'll pop this. I've got the Bismuth Gear in my, uh, in, my, in my hand, so I have the high scale, which I can pop last. Um, so that's fine. Or I can just leave it in my scale at this point. I don't really actually think it's a mandatory thing to resolve. But so this can happen. This will set the full Metal Fuse Fusion. And uh, I can fuse here into, into some things. I can activate this. I can activate this, pop my Gold Driver after I fuse once. But I'm going to just special summon all my stuff. Uh, just because that seems ideal. <laughs> Three Volt Flames seems good. I don't even need to make the Emerald. Like, let's go. Uh, I can fuse here into Ori Halk, and then I can use a counter to add back a Gold Driver, normal summon it, overlay with it. Um, so that seems all right. I also have other plays, like I could fuse away with a Mithrilium uh, and summon the Gold Driver from my extra deck. But at this point, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to fuse into an Ori Halk with, uh, with these two, just so that I can get more uh, cards on board. And now I'll normal summon this, make my emerald, and uh, do my stuff. Because I'm just trying to recycle cards. I'm trying to just do the most. These these videos are more of a showcase of what the decks do rather than like, oh, I won this game. Um, stuff like that. But so emerald, uh, mithrilium, and alkahist. Because alkahist is going to be needed with full metal foes fusion. Uh, and that's a rat. So that's pretty good. I think I have like two rats left in my deck as well, but I don't have, no, I have two rats in my graveyard. That's the one. Uh, but so now I can use this and shuffle back, draw a card. And so it just generates cards. Uh, that's a Bambuku, that's very good. And this is just game here, so I'm just gonna poke. I'm, I'm just gonna poke with this. Um, I've got the, I've got the Alkis play set up as well, so like this is a good ending board, even if it wasn't game. Uh, but it is easily meldable in the game because I could just pop a scale, uh, use a scale to pop the, uh, pop the Gold Driver or Abysma Gear, whichever one hadn't been used yet, and then reset Metal Foes Fusion, and then go from there. Essentially, uh, that's what we would be doing. But So I'm curious as to whether or not he's going to let me go first again. Um, I don't know if he's still playing the exact list that he sent me, but the list that he sent me was, uh, oh, he's letting me go first again, okay. So the list that he sent me was uh, Wind Witch, uh, was Wind Witch Yosenju. So, hmm, interesante. Uh, but so I can normal summon this. I'm gonna put the Bambuku back, uh, depending on what I draw. Unless I draw one of the Metalfoe spells and traps. That's a Bismagear. Yeah, Bambuku's going back, which is such an odd feeling, right? 
you'd think that you almost never put that card back and that you always normal summon that card, but at the point that it stands at, the Bumbuku Kirin stuff might just be cuttable <laughs> because of the fact that you just are actually just never really worried about it um, in the truest essence of, like, you just always normal summon Lone Fire or Baobaboon. Uh, if you have it versus Kirin, because it's just such a, it's a it yields you literally four draws, <laughs> so it's it's definitely definitely the way that works. Uh, but so we'll put Bismagear back on bottom, and that is Metal Foes Fusion that is going on bottom. <laughs> Absolutely, we're not messing with that, not at all. Uh, so he let me go first again, and he doesn't have something like Max C, or else it would have been used on the Battle Baboon, uh, most definitely. Uh, that's like an instant like grab. Um, or maybe, I don't know, because then I could just summon one, and then it would just be fine for me, because I could just float into the other one, and that makes me, that establishes me a floating draw engine. Uh, so actually, maybe, maybe Max C could just be held, but it would definitely have been used on the Invoker. Uh, that, that's 100% for, for fact, it would have been used on the Invoker. Because that card is, uh, that card is easily the biggest Max C target, because then you have to give him a card, or else the card you summon gets destroyed in the end phase. Uh, but so summon Rat Pierre. I'm gonna do this play. Try to draw four again. I'm definitely drawing three. The only reason I say try to draw four is that it re revolves around me resolving Metal Foes Fusion. But at the same time, like you're going to resolve Metal Foes Fusion because you're gonna gain so many cards. And like I've already got the scales in hand. I've got everything that I need for that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do this, and we're gonna do the exact same thing we did last game. We're gonna do the zoo play. We're gonna empty the uh, deck of all the cards that we can. Um, and then try to draw things. And in fact, before I even use this Emerald, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the Arch Phoenix Centric thing, popping my combination, uh, getting a search. Uh, I'm going to search for Gold Driver, or no, Volflame. Yeah, we're going to get Volflame here. Because I've got more cards that search the lower uh, scales in the form of, uh, or the lower levels in the form of Painful Decisions. Uh, but so then I can activate this, and I can use this. To pop the uh, pop the silvered and just start unloading my deck before I draw with Emerald. That way I can uh, make sure that I uh, that I try to draw into things like my dimensional barriers and uh, stuff like that. But so I'll activate this, popping this guy, uh, setting full Metal Foes Fusion, and then this um, this is a good stopping point um, until after I Emerald. At least I took two cards out of the deck, uh, so that's that's pretty important. But so we'll shovel back two rats and the Tiger Mortar, and draw a card that's a Bambuku. Again, not really what I'm looking for here as far as as far as far cards, uh, but we can definitely make it work. But so Fusion Substitute here for my Norden, and Norden comes down, we'll bring back the rat. The exact same playline that happened in game one. Uh, it's just such a strong, strong board, such a strong feeling uh, to be able to do this sort of stuff, because you just meld your playline. And like I said earlier, if we had another Zoo Xyz, um, like Leica or Hammer Kong already, then we would be able to search here with Broadpool. So it would be just really good. Uh, even better than it already is. Uh, because of the fact that we would be able to get a search here and uh, and just go up in card count even more. Like get a search for the scale, even. And in fact, I might not even play the low scale anymore in this deck. Um, this deck might not even need the Dragoons of Draconia in it. Because of the fact that you just end up with uh, with all of these things like you just end up with your with your scales naturally flowing to your hand because of how this works uh, but so we'll shuffle back here and uh, that's a dimensional barrier that's very good uh, even though it's pretty weak against his deck unless he does go for the Xyz play that he did last game uh, but even then it's still like I said it's pretty like weak as far as a play line uh, but split back uh, Emerald Broad Bull and uh, the Momorat or the Rat Pierre and that's a counter. Okay, so that's good. That means I can get the other counter out of my deck. And uh, that will be very good. Uh, so I can Pendulum here. Uh, I can I can use this to destroy counter. Uh, I can Shuffle back. No, I can use this to destroy Invoker. I can Pendulum my three. Yeah, so we'll destroy Invoker here. Invoker just doesn't really carry you anymore. Um, as far as where you're trying to go. Uh, and so now I can use the special summon here. So I'll special summon... I'll special summon the Bumbuku just so I go ahead and get the Kirin. That seems like it's a, that seems like it's a good idea. Um, just because it's better to summon than Arch Phoenix Centric, especially since I'm about to fuse away with it anyway. Uh, but so I'll get Kirin here, so I'm threatening that the next turn as well. 
Um, I've already normal summoned, so that's not really a big factor. But I get to use my uh, Metal Fuse Fusion here, and I'll use it to make Mithrilium, and I'll fuse with these two into Mithrilium, and then I can activate this to shuffle back and draw a card, and then I'll leave my board as it stands after I use this to pop uh, a card. After I use this to pop the, uh, I can use that to pop Bismuth gear? No, I've already used its effect to pop. Um, but it's fine, because I've already got the monsters on board that I need anyway. So I'm not too worried about that, uh, as far as that goes. Um, but yeah, so we'll just set these, and we will pass turn. So it's not nearly as thorough of a board as it was the first turn, because I don't have the, uh, the counter, or not the counter, the, uh, the combination down. Um, but it's still, woo! Oh my! Um, it's still just a, uh, it's still just a very good board. Um, so from here, I can use Mithrilium's effect, and then I can use both of my counters. Um, so I can still threaten with Alkahist. So this is, this is still, this is still fine. Um, so I'll special summon Volflame in attack, and I'll special summon Steelin in defense. And then, off of this, my extra deck summon will be for another Volflame. Uh, and so now the counters allow me to add back stuff. And now I've got full Metal Fuse Fusion live for Alkahis again. Um, so, like, it's it's pretty cool what you have access to um, for this. Now, that's a Sujik. Okay. Um, so the summon is successful. Now, what are you going to do with them? <laughs> That's the question. How are you going to get through my board with just these? Uh, if you make an exceed, like Broad Bull, I'm just going to go into Alkahist and suck it up immediately. Um, that's That seems like it's the 100% proper play, at least I believe so. Yeah, so he's going to Broad Bull here. Uh, and so in response to the summon, uh, I'm going to... First, I'm going to read my Alkahist to make sure that I'm not just walking into a trap here. Target an effect monster on the field. Yeah, I'm just making sure it wasn't like 101. It can only target like attack position monsters or something like that. Uh, but So yeah, we'll make the Alkahist uh, with these two. Summon. And then holding down A again. Um, it should give me a summon response window to use my Alkahist's effect. But for some reason it's just not. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, going straight into Drancia. Um, okay, so, well, we'll do this. And if he uses Barrier, or if he uses this on my Alkahist, I'll just use my Barrier calling it Seize, because this is the most live it's ever going to be. Um, this is the most live this Barrier is ever going to be. Uh, so I didn't actually really care if, he, if it didn't give me that response window, but that's really strange that it didn't give me the response window, even though I was holding down A literally the entire time. Um, I find that super, super weird. Um, but, hey man, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Uh, if it wants to play like that, then I'll play like that. Uh, but, so this could be anything from, like, Strike to, like, ugh. I don't even want to think about what that could be. Um, but, so I'm going to pop this Bismagear here. Uh, and it'll let me reset my fuse. Ah, a Macrocosmos. Okay. That's fine. I'll just Arch Phoenix centric that. I just drew this for turn, like a master. Uh, so my Bisma Gear goes there, but it still gets to use its effect, which is neat AF. Uh, but so I can just activate this, pop the Macrocosmos, and this will be uh, this will be good from here. Uh, but so pop here, and so that's good. So now I can just activate my scales, get my stuff. Uh, so I'll activate this uh, to fuse into my. Uh, into my Mithrilium uh, to do this and then I'll be able to just put this in my scale and then just pendulum for game like this this seems super super simple uh, and super just easy uh, so this is what we'll do so yeah we'll just do this uh, the Bambuku because I can search another Bambuku so it's good card economy but also this is just game so uh, might as well right uh, and the counters don't even have to activate their effects engrave. Um, and I can activate the Metal Foes Fusion, though, to shuffle back and draw a card after I've just thinned my deck out. So there's another barrier. Alright. It's not really that ideal in this matchup. It's not really that applicable, but, I mean, hell, still. Uh, it's still really good. <laughs> and the fact that this board is just happening is 
absolutely ridiculous. Um, so we'll just we'll we'll continue we'll continue on with the with, with what's going on here. <laughs> Pendulum decks are so unfair. Oh my goodness, that's just ridiculous. So that was a swift 2-0, and like I said, I'm not going to do a, a game 3 for this video because uh, it's just going to go back to uh, to best 2 out of 3 formats um, where if I'm not going to let someone get 3-0'd and I'm not going to let myself get 3-0'd because that just seems rude. Uh, so And also for time reasons because this video is already at 25 minutes long and it was just me comboing off during the entirety of that time and not really playing slow during that either. I was playing as fast as I feel like I could while also commentating. Uh, so there is that, but other than that... Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As you see the, the deck list on screen, it's a 48 card deck list, and there might be some things that get cut. Like like I said, the Kieran might just get cut. Like the Kieran and Mabukus might just get cut for space because of the fact that like you never normal summon it unless you don't have one of your other six starters into Baboon. So there is that, um, and his deck unfortunately just doesn't really work well against decks that are like mine that that uh, that just amass big board presences very quickly. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns, and all that nonsense, definitely be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the way to go, as well as it gets you into a monthly raffle giveaway for a high dollar card or sealed product, whatever the flavor of the month is, essentially, as well as possible access to my personal Discord server to chat with me and play some games with me for videos like this one, like where Earthworm came from. But if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've seen so far. If you're looking to acquire cards I played in this video, then definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, that's it for this video. Again, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I will see you in the next video.